Hi, I'm Nico from Commensal. I designed the Meta M, which is the new version of the Meta. We wanted to make a bike um, that is much stiffer and that uh, keeps very good uh, performance under downhill and that also have much better pedaling efficiency. To achieve this, we've been working on the suspension and on the geometry. You can notice that the contact system is very different than the old Meta. It's based uh, on the Supreme DH, but adapted on, on the old Mountain. So, as you can see, it's a 4-bar linkage. This new Meta M is optimized for 2x10 transmissions. Uh, we really believe in the 2x10 because it reduces the gap between the small ring and the big ring, which means that uh, we reduce the influence of the chain tensions and we can easily uh, we can make we don't need to make such um, such a big compromise if you have a 3 by 9 or 3 by 10 so you can notice that the for example that the pivot position is like straight um, on the bigger ring which means that uh, it's really uh, it's really good on the on the big ring and as it's a 2 by 10 you don't feel that much uh, uh, chain tensions on the on the on the smaller ring. You can notice that the shock is not um, putting stress directly on the down tube, which means that we can work on the thickness, on the wall thickness. And you can notice also that we have um, a floating shock, which helps for us just to find to find the the right uh, kinematic and the right uh, ratio curve we want it to have. So this helps to also, this system is, uh, the rear triangle is a lot more open and it helps a lot to gain uh, torsion stiffness. So by this system, we have a bike that has a better center, a very low center of gravity, but at the same time, we gain that extra stiffness that is really nice. And uh, this helps a lot uh, to get a bike that is good for handling and also in terms of pedaling efficiency. Then we've been also working on the geometry. As uh, you can notice, the seat tube angle is uh, very different than the old one. On the old one, we were having a big offset and very slack angle, which means that for the big guys, the tall guys, the, seat, the saddle was a lot on the rear, and then it was pretty hard when you were um, riding on over uh, steep climbs to really keep uh, the grip over the front wheel. We have uh, less offset and we have a steeper angle which means that even if you are tall you won't be that much on the rear and it will help a lot on, on climbs. Also I have a longer top tube in the same ID just to offer more room for the guy and to get uh, something that is much better in terms of pedaling efficiency but also you have more room when you go downhill and you can better find your, your position so we believe it's, it's also a, a something better. Pedaling is not uh, everything. We wanted to get a bike that is uh, very good at downhill. That's why we have like a uh, slack angle, of course good suspension performance, but also a low BB. And this is something that makes the bike very, very good to ride uh, under downhill. You can notice that this bike is pretty modern. It has new standards such as the 142 by 12 uh, hub, millimeter hub. You can also notice that we are using the high direct mount and in the same ID you can see that we are using uh, Shimano press fit BB92 uh, uh, BB because it helps to have it's wider than a regular BB and it helps to have better connection between the BB the tunnel and the dog tube you can also notice in the same ID that we are using a tapered head tube which helps to increase the stiffness but also the strength uh, and in this head tube we are using Kenquick semi-integrated uh, uh, standard which is ZS56 on the, at the bottom and ZS44 at the top and the good thing that you can use a Kenquick angle set if you need which means that you can work on the, get a slacker angle or steeper angle and it's uh, pretty nice for guys who really want to have that particular feeling they want to reach. In the same ID you can notice that we are having um, integrated the uh, cable pass for everything from the from the disc brake to the rear derail derailleur front derailleur and also for the for the adjustable um, seat post so it gives a very clean look and i think it makes the bike a lot more modern so overall with all these things 
regarding the suspension, the geometry. We achieved to get a bike that is much stiffer, that is pedaling a lot better, and is still like uh, a weapon of choice if you want to, to ride downhill.